All right, something kind of unique this trip. Heading from the East Coast over the West Coast, over there to Venice, Florida. Um, gonna go fish with Eric White. It's been a while since I fished with Eric. Years, actually, and last time he took me offshore and wore me out on some amberjack. Long runs out into the Gulf, you know, 50 mile run probably in the Camus, which will, will be an adventure. Another treat, home of, uh, of my production team, Colorblind Media is over there. So hang out with the boys, maybe do a little barbecue, head over to the office, see what the guys are up to. This should be a great one, so hang on. I just got here in Nokomis, Florida, the west coast of Florida. I just got word that they decided to change the dock out the day before I get here. So this is my dock. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna put the canvas here, but I don't know, figure it out. Driving into Venice, it's a beach town. It's a, I'm, I'm staying right on the beach, and you immediately fall into that atmosphere and that vibe. I brought the one wheels. What better way to explore this area than hop on a one wheel, run down to the inlet, kind of get a lay of the land. You can see the inlet. You can see, you know, you, you just get a feel for the area by you know running out to the inlet and experiencing it. Venice Inlet is where we're going out of tomorrow. This is the place. Apparently, it's a spot to be for sunset too. Standing on the north jetty of Venice Inlet. So we're gonna go out of Venice Inlet tomorrow, 50 miles, 60 miles that way. Been here before, I've done this before, but it's been a long time. Beautiful spot as it comes out for sunset, which is just about to happen. Maybe we'll see the green flash. Taylor Brothers, ca cameraman, editor extraordinaire, colorblind media, goon riding my one wheel. He knows how to surf, but Oh! He thinks he's carving a lip. Well, I think what's unique about this show is I'm heading over to the West Coast and then my, my friends are here. The production crew's here, I'm friends with Eric White. It, this is a more relaxing trip for me. I kind of know what to expect. The pressure's off of me. I can come here, I can just let loose, have a good time. You know, it's not always about the fishing and that's kind of what we try to get across. It's, it's not about the catching, it's about the experience and what better way to do it than hang out with a bunch of friends. Do, do you have any more coolers? No, I didn't bring my big head either. I have a 165 at home. Put it on strapping on the bow. 7 0s, 6 0s, need smaller than that, 5 0s. Oh my gosh, look at Kevin's hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And it's always a great opportunity to head over here to Venice to see the guys at Colorblind Media. We have such a history together. Over 10 years, we started together. Kevin was an intern, I was, you know, a greenhorn, and, and, and everything has developed to what it is today. And there's nothing that replaces that time together. It's not often that we get to do this, so those, those hours that we get to spend together to collaborate, to brainstorm, to think about how we can do things better, you know, that's, that's what makes our relationship so special. That's what makes this show so special.
cold morning and a long run. Conditions are nice though. Let's see where we're going out of here. Old Casey Key heading out to the deep water. Yeah, we're gonna slide over to my boat and grab some bait that we got yesterday. And then go pull up some pin traps. Hopefully they're loaded. Man, look at this thing. This sled. We lit. Look, it's giant. She's a big girl. George, I'd say it's probably gonna be easier if uh, you hop on here. Cause I'm gonna, I gotta stand on the dock and like lift it up with a gaff. Okay. And then uh, hand the net over to one of the boys on the boat. That's it, man. We're done. Next stop, 60 miles, 50 miles. What do you think about weather? I think it's looking fantastic, man. Got a little light east, northeasterly this morning. It should be switching out of the southwest <laughs> this afternoon. Five knots, maybe. So it's just going to be one of those beautiful days in the middle of January that we never <laughs> Which get. Which we never get. in there. A whole bunch. Oh in my there. god. <laughs> Pinfish heaven. Loaded. The bottom on the west coast of Florida out of Venice, it takes a long time to get deep. And, and, and that's what's different than the east coast. I mean, 40, 50 miles out in the Atlantic, you're in a couple thousand feet of water. 50 miles out in the Gulf, I'm sitting in 140 feet of water. So it provides an immense amount of bottom structure, bottom habitat for these fish. You got to think there's thousands of square miles that these bottom fish can, can hold on. Manga. Oh yeah, I got him up. Looks like freaking Roland Martin over there, <laughs> that thing, dude. Dude, that thing's a tough right there. Here we go, you just one up me, G. There you go. Got one too. That's some good eating right there, yeah, ain't it? man. It's one of my favorites. Studs, look yeah, at the man. belly on that thing. God. <laughs> Been eating good down there. Let's see if we can catch some bigger ones. They get a lot bigger than that? Oh yeah. <laughs> you you liking this thing? Oh, I'm loving this thing. I feel like I'm bass fishing out in the middle of the gold. Cool. They're in a pre-spawn right now. Oh yeah? Pre-spawn pattern. <laughs> throwing my shaky, my okay, shaky. What are you throwing, a shaky head? Sh yeah, shaky head. Shaky head crawl down. Jigger crawl. Jigger crawl. I think they're laying on the bed, so I'm gonna flip to them. A little wacky worm action. Let's see what happens. I better lock the drag down because this is going to get ugly.
something my own size here to mess with. Not so bad. Yes. That's nine to one gear ratio, so it's like 40 inches a turn. It's pretty good for stuff like this, actually. Get it up quick. In theory. Hey. Nice freaking mag, George. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Look at the belly on these things. That's what's incredible. Thirty pound braid, is there a braid? Look at that. Just caught them on this fathom. Let's check this out. Low profile fathom. Something you think you'd be using inshore. Bring it out here and you can just womp these fish, man. Every time you drop a bait down out here, they are just getting annihilated. Oh man. That is fun. This is good eating right here too. How big do these have to be? Eric? It's gotta be 12 inches out here. Wow, he's well. Well, beyond 12. Yes, he is. We got all this fish here to keep. You know, it's so important to keep high food quality. And the best way to do that is to get it cold quick. And uh, the easiest way to do that is, you know, we filled it with ice. Now we're going to throw a bunch of salt water in there, pump some salt water in there, and just make a slurry of seawater that's super cold. So this is far colder than them just sitting on ice cubes, you know, so you're completely surrounded now with ice cold water. Um, you know, it makes it a lot easier to clean the fish. So it's always a good idea, you know, bring a lot of ice and then just make your own slurry while you're out here. Top notch. Nice little red grouper for you there, boys. Oh, here we go. Oh, and he's out of season. Hi. Hi. That thing lasted, I mean, as soon as you put it down there. Yeah, they're pretty fired up right now, man. Oh. Ooh, nice fish though, bro. Whew. Look at that thing. So yours is in season? Yeah, man. This one will make a trip home too. Oh, that one will see. right in the corner. Wow. All right, that's it right there. That's a gag, out of season right now. Eric says you get him back quick in the water. You don't have to vent him. He'll swim down to the bottom, which he did. Oh my God. George, you got, a, you got a tape measure on here just so I can double check this dude? Yeah. I mean, within a couple hours, I was tired of reeling him in. The camera guys are, are catching them. Everybody's having a great time. I mean, what better experience when you go out there with good friends, good fishing, and just enjoy the day? <laughs> did you get that? Jesus. Have a nice bite. You should see what I have on here. This is the catch of all catches. Ready? Hang on, I want to be careful I don't pull it off the hook. Oh yeah, I got him. Oh, I got a GoPro! My God, I got a GoPro! The things you do for the shot.
Long gone are the days where you worried about the reliability of your outboard. I can rest assured nowadays that when I head out, I'm going to safely return. The efficiency of these motors, the fuel consumption is incredible. We've gotten to the point with the reliability of Mercury outboard motors that we can make these long runs with single outboards. But again, we're not doing this haphazardly and without precautions. On every one of these long trips, we have our EPIRBs, we have SAT phones, so we do take the precautions. But these motors are super reliable, super fuel efficient, and it affords us the ability to make those long runs after those big fish. I've relied on Mercury outboards for years and they've never left me stranded. That's why I'm part of the Mercury family. You brought home the goods for sure. There's no better way to end a day though than get back, have a couple beers, throw the fish on the grill, eat it nice and fresh right there, and kind of think back on the day. And you know, these are the memories that last. It's not always the fishing, it's the time spent with friends and, and the good times in between the, the fish that are caught. All right, next morning, had a great day fishing yesterday, some good barbecue last night. You know, we're in the Venice area, and not only does that mean good fishing, good bottom fishing with Eric, but it's home of my production team, Colorblind Media. So I'm gonna swing by the office, get a little behind the scenes, maybe check out some footage from yesterday, see what the guys are up to. Kind of a little special treat for y'all. All right, here we are, Colorblind Media. Been working with these guys for, God, I don't know, over 10 years. And they're so much a part of what this show is, what it's become. This is where it all happens. They got the coolest office. Let's get a little behind the scenes and see how these guys are doing it. Newest to the team, I think, for me. What's up, brother? What's up? Jared on it. Georgie. Lads, this is the underwater extraordinaire here. He does a lot of the underwater stuff for us. He's uh, kind of new to the team as well, but Definitely a good addition to the team. Brings the underwater side to it. Here's the boys, Kevin Brothers, the mastermind behind it all, Reed and Taylor. What you guys doing? Checking out your episode. Ah, oh, Ken Duke episode. These are the bloopers. So this is where it all happens, guys. This is, I mean, you can see there's so much that goes into this. Why don't you let me take that camera and you sit down and we'll Come watch. Come check out your uh, new episode. All right, let's see it. I haven't seen this one. It's so funny, people think I see a finished edit. I, I normally wait till it goes to the network to even watch it. I trust these guys and what they do. Well, this so. one's about to go to network now. It's like an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look back, it's the best. <laughs> the, the unique thing about this show is I came over you have a loose plan, you hang out with friends, and whatever happens, happens. And you make the most of it, you capture it on film, and those are always the best moments, the ones that you don't plan. Why are we going in here? You don't want to go in here. <laughs> Do they sense your fear? He knows I'm not afraid of them. Uh -huh. Just give him a minute. See, he knows. He doesn't play around, man. Reed's scared to death of this pig. <laughs> <laughs> I was fine with him and you pissed him off. <laughs> Going down. Jeez. <laughs> what are you guys doing up here? Kevin's falling over. I can't put a fish in the cooler.
Get your mullet boots on that thing. Bro, these are toughs, man. Get out of here. This is probably making the ride so much better. <laughs> Hard on grass. You gotta try it on the street. Watch that truck, man, boys. Man. How we doing? Hang on, let me call you back. What's going on? What do you know? Wind up. You guys are on the film. No, you're on the film. <laughs> Wrecked it. Didn't get it on video. Ah. I didn't go to drink. Can't come to Venice without stopping at Pops.